Hi friends, welcome back to the YouTube mission Lagni channel and my name is Chirag. Today we are going to discuss about a build.xml file which is provided by Ant and we also discuss about our Ant project and what is our target and how we can create new folder using Ant, how we can delete folders using Ant and how can we delete files. So these all are the basic concept of ants which we will discuss in this video and uh, we are uh, moving step by step in this video i just show you about the basic concepts in next video i'm just go to how we can copy how we can move our files how we can compile java files how we can run our java files and another video i will show you how we can run our framework uh, using ANCH and how can we run test in g.xml file using ANCH so this is all about the ANCH series and now let me start with build.xml file so basically when we will work in ANCH and work in build.xml file we have to write our code in xml file and for one project there would be a one xml file as per the standard but it is not a particular rule that we have to use one it depends scenario and it also depends project per project but it is a standard that in one project there should be a one build.xml file so how we can create a build.xml file i am going to show you so let me open my clips i have created a new project learning ant and if i click new others this is xml i just click and next and here i would write build.xml file so i am just creating build.xml file parallel to my project and click on finish so you can see that we have created a build.xml file which is parallel to this project and now I am going to open this by using ant editor right so this is all about a build.xml file and we are going to write our code in this xml file and we will run our uh, this and or this code through command prompt command line tool right so let me move to another point that would be what is a project right and project so let me create a new and project and we will discuss so basically this is a project the all the code which we write under our project this is a one project and the name of this project we will give and learning and after that we have to give a default target this this uh, default we will discuss uh, later and after that there would be a base directory so we will give a period on this base directory base directory means the path let me open base directory means where the build dot xml file is kept or put the path of that is a base directory so this directory the the base directory path would be this e-testing automation new framework learning ant so this is a base directory right and what is ant project that is this is the ant project build.xml file is the file in which we write our code right so this is all about the ant project let me open so what is our target and let me um, before target I just add one point what is a what is a property in arch 
so what is a property in ant the we will write code at, as we we write code in java we have to initialize our variable such as int we have to declare our variable same way we have to do in ant right so in that we have to give any name to a string so we we have to initialize a string variable and put the value same way we have to do in ant right so let me create a one property for that and we need to give the name of the property and value so the name of this property i give home and i give a value for this let me give a test dot home and i will give the value of this base directory right so what i did here i just put this test dot home property name and put this value means i give let me open that folder i give this path into this variable right and i will use this test dot home in my this build dot xml file when whenever i need to use this base directory path right so this way we can use our property we can set our property right so this all about the properties and when we will need a property we will create a property value right so let me give uh, open this and now what is a target so target is a um, thing you can say it is a method if i comparison with java as we write a java in a method and we will to we will to do some task so same way we here in ant we need task uh, we need a target to complete that particular task right in target we can write our code so let me create one target for you this is our target and we have to give a target name target name should not be a duplicate if you put a duplicate target name this uh, build.xml give you error right so this is a first target name and here i will print so this echo is a command to just print any value for this this is on tutorial so i need to run this through a command right so how can i do i just open i just open command prompt where i have my build.xml file right so my build dot xml file is here and i code that location and open command prompt so here i need to give ant so everything which we need to execute through ant so we have to give first ant then we will give a target so my target in this is first i will provide ant and after that i will give first so you can see it executed from this build.xml file and this is my first target and you can echo this this is an tutorial which i have written here and you can see the build is successfully passed so by this way we can set our target and we can set our task how we can complete right so let me open and show how we can create a folder using art the folder to 
create a folder we will create a new target and create for this we have to use mkdir command and put the name let i let me create two three folder leave reports so when we will design a framework we will we will create uh, we will design or we will create folder through ant at the runtime so because we do not want to do manual task so we will give the code in ant so that ant will perform that code and there will be lips lib folder reports logs right so let me i will show you that there would be no folder over here and if i run arch create you can see that three folder has been created at this location right so you can see that there would be a three lib logs reports so by using this this line of code we can create a new folder so it is so easy right and you can see now i'm just want to delete a folder so i will create a new target for that i keep delete for the target name and i will give delete and i will delete logs file logs folder and i will also delete reports so we can also use a uh, one more verbose to it give a log which give more information for us what folder has been deleted and how so you can see that there would be a folder logs and report i am just going to delete this folder through and let me i hope you are watching uh, you can see this and this arch delete so you can see that delete ha uh, task has been completed it is saying that logs and reports has been deleted and build is successfully you can see that logs and delete is not display here right so this is all about the delete how we can delete the folder now there would be a multiple files right how we can delete that files suppose i will create a new file over this test and and there are many files let me copy this file and there would be a file for so i want to delete this files right so how i can do by using arch let me create a new target all the things which we need to do we have to create a target for that this would be a target delete files and for that now i'm use delete and give this dir and in this i give a base directory where my files are located 
so this and after that i have to use file set so friend where there are numbers of files we have to deal number of files at that time we need to use file set so i'm using file set for that and in file set and in this I am telling that all the file which is starting from txt delete right so this is all the thing which we have to do right so let me run and we will see what would be the output for this So there would be unable to delete this as a all file. Let me open this. Okay. So you can see all the folder has been deleted from this. So this is all the code for deleting files. How we can delete files. So this would be a deleted file and this would be the things you can see that by using three four line we can delete we can create we can delete all the files which we need so this all about in this video thank you for watching this video in next video we will work to see how we can copy the files how we can move the files how we can compile java file and how we can run java file through and right or thank you for watching this video bye bye take